Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. Today, we are gonna do a really fun DIY, and this is using Dollar Tree products. So we are gonna make this super gorgeous, high-end looking tray with Dollar Tree products. So here is this tray and it's really cute. I chose to leave this metal piece here showing to go along with the metal of the plant I was putting on top of it, but you could also take another piece of rope and go through the bottom of the tray also. So this is four things of rope. If you're doing it this way, you need five if you're going to be doing the bottom row of the tray. Now, additionally, you need a pizza pan, and this rope is the eight foot pack. So when you're at Dollar Tree, they have a nine and a half foot pack and an eight foot. Now, the nine and a half foot is a thinner rope, and the eight foot is a thicker rope. So that's the one that I like. And then this has three different sizes of rope. I'll show you in the video when I'm putting it together. Two packs of shower rings. So super cute. And this turned out so absolutely adorable. I'll let you see the inside there. And I made it to go with this plant. I'm starting to do all of my fall decor items and of course you could put anything that you want inside of there if you wanted you could even put some little um some wood beads and put some feet on it if you want so it's definitely customizable and i just love the way it turned out so if you'd like to see this project being put together then please stay tuned and I will add the video and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. I'll see you later. Bye. All right, friends. So you can see we have the pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. And then this is the rope that we're gonna be using. So again, I'm using the eight and a half, the eight foot instead of the nine and a half because it's thicker. And then the shower curtain rods i have several packs of them because i have another project i'm using them for but this took about a pack and then a few of them out of it now if you are going to be putting the rope along the bottom portion again then you should probably buy five packs to be safe i wanted to leave the rim around it in that metal because it would go along with the galvanized metal pot that my plant was in that I'm gonna be putting this on. Now you're gonna need hot glue and then I have two other sizes of burlap rope. Now these burlap ropes I did get from Michaels because I've had them for a long time. I have very um, big rolls that I had bought previously. However, if you want to do all Dollar Tree product, then I would get the nine and a half foot rope additionally, and then you unravel it and you can make it into three pieces. So you can get a few bags of that and then unravel them and use them for the medium rope. And then Dollar Tree does sell a smaller jute cord that you can use for the even smaller one all right so with this I am just going through and I'm putting my rope around the bottom portion of my tray so what I would suggest when you're doing this as you put in your glue so put your glue close to the edge of the previous row of burlap cord and then 
when you put your, not burlap cord, jute cord, and when you put your rope on it, push it up against it. And this will allow it to stay nice and taut as you're going through and putting this on. So again, just keep going around until you cover the entire thing. So you get the eye idea for that. So I am going to kind of speed up this process a little bit more so that you're not just sitting here watching me place cord. But again, just hot glue all the way around and then go around into a circle, okay? Alright, so now I still need to take a piece and fill in that center, but what I'm going to do first is take this piece of cord and I'm going to go around the outside edge. That way I know that I've got that completely covered. And then I'll take a piece of the leftover cord and put that through the center. So I'm just putting my hot glue around the edging. And again, like I said, if you wanted to do that bottom piece as well, this would be a good time to do that. And just lay your cord all the way around the edging. Now be careful when you're putting your rope on with your hot glue gun. I don't know about you, but I burn myself all the time. I have such a habit of touching things. I want to make it like stick down where it needs to go. And I'm constantly touching hot glue. And I have so many little burns on my fingers right now. So please be very, very careful and don't do what I did. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up my edge here and then cut off that cord. I don't know why I had little pair of scissors with me and I was a little lazy to stand up and get my big ones. So it took me a few minutes to cut through. So after I finish this edging, I'm just gonna cut off a piece and do the same thing in the center. Just curl it all up and glue it in. All right, so after we fill in this center part, you're going to get your other two sizes of twine. So we are going to take the next size down and we are going to open up our shower curtain hooks and then we are gonna start putting that twine on our shower curtain hooks. So on these hooks where it comes together, put a little piece of hot glue in that little pocket where it snaps together closed. Start wrapping from there, and then you're just going to wrap around each of your shower curtain hooks, putting a little hot glue here and there to help you keep it in place. You don't have to put hot glue on each piece that you wrap around, just put it in places. So. This was one pack and either three or four hooks. So do all of your twine around all of them. And then after you have wrapped your twine around each of these shower curtain hooks, then you're going to use your smaller twine and put your hooks together two at a time. So I put the two ends that have the closure butt to butt and then wrap my thinner twine around there to secure them. And then once I get the two at a time wrapped together, then I start securing them together in, in a bigger chain. And then once you make your entire chain, secure it together in a circle place that on the inside of your tray and then secure. 
So this is the finished product. Now, when I secured the circles around the inside, you know, some of them were flush to the bottom of the pan. Some of them were not completely flush. And I just put hot glue underneath the pieces that were flush and it fit very well. So I love how this turned out. I hope you like it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. I'll see you later. Bye.